China urgently needs to take steps to contain financial stability risks, according to the International Monetary Fund. Debt levels have climbed during the pandemic, especially in the private sector, the fund said, while credit quality likely deteriorated due to looser rules for dealing with bad loans. The financial pressure on small banks and some local governments likely intensified, with local government debt rising rapidly even as revenues slow. Pandemic relief measures that are potentially distortionary should be gradually phased out, the Washington-based lender said in its annual report, released Friday. Repayment holidays for borrowers and relaxed rules on how to treat non-performing loans run the risk of increasing moral hazard and undoing recent progress in strengthening bank transparency and governance. China's recovery has been uneven, with private demand lagging behind industrial and export growth, according to the IMF. It's crucial to look below the headline number, and what we see there is growth that is not yet as balanced as we would like to have, said Helga Berger, head of Fund China's mission, in an interview with Bloomberg Television Friday. Growth is still relying heavily on public support, namely in the form of more traditional public infrastructure investment. What is lagging is consumption, she said. General government debt is estimated to climb to 92% of GDP, the IMF said, and reach 113% by 2025 under the fund's baseline scenario. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe.